My name is Caroline Montovo, and I am president and CEO of the Dana Foundation. We are a private philanthropic organization based in New York City. And the way that we fit into the event today is that I served as a moderator and a speaker for one of the panels looking at tackling the burden of global disease um, and brain health. So very excited to be here today. This area of brain health, brain disease, and our particular focus at the Dana Foundation is the intersection of neuroscience and society. So our vision is brain science for a better future. And we recognize that science and technology can produce both very positive salutary effects as well as negative effects on human well-being and flourishing. And so our role at the Dana Foundation is to help maximize the potential of the field to do good. This is especially important as we think about brain health throughout the world. Uh, this includes um, all kinds of diseases from mental illness to neurological and psychiatric disease. So we're very happy to be supporting this event today. At the Dana Foundation, we believe that collaboration is so important because in order to ensure a productive, healthy and flourishing future for all humans, it's really critical to bring together perspectives from many different disciplines, also perspectives coming from countries and regions all over the world. This is especially important when we think about the ethical and societal implications of neuroscience, because we believe that bringing in voices of ethicists, social scientists, legal experts can help to strengthen research and technology itself. I think one of the things that really stands out to me from this United Nations uh, General Assembly event today is that um, science and neuroscience in particular is really at uh, a point where there's an opportunity to see neuroscience benefit society. Um, I think that we've been seeing so much development and advance in neuroscience knowledge and neurotechnology development over the past 30 years, especially as neuroscience has started to pick up. I think that now is the time for countries to be thinking about accessibility and how all of this development flows out into the world to benefit society. So I think that that's one thing that really stands out to me today is that there's a lot of fruits of the labor and neuroscience investment. I think it's really critical to continue to invest more in neuroscience. I think it's also really important to consider how that benefits people. In terms of brain health, I think what I'd love to see is that the culture of brain science, the culture of neuroscience continues to develop in a way that links the science closer to local communities. That's another theme that we heard a lot from today. And I think that this is something that's going to continue to play a role in neuroscience, is thinking about how societal goals and human values link back into the neuroscience research enterprise. And so I think in five years, what I hope is that there are stronger bridges built between neuroscience and local communities to help to foster its positive societal impact. Thank you.